Hello, welcome to the video on the installation of OSDAC in Windows operating system. In this tutorial, we will learn how to download and install OSDAC on Windows. For this tutorial, you will need a working internet connection to download the necessary installation files from the OSDAC website or you may already have the required files offline. You should also have a machine installed with an updated Windows 64-bit operating system. This OSDAC installer supports various Windows operating systems such as Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 all with a 64-bit architecture. Your computer should have a minimum of 2 GB of RAM and a minimum of 4 GB of disk space free. This tutorial is recorded on a Windows 10 operating system. Open any web browser like Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. In the address bar, type osdac.fossy.in. The home page of OSDAC will be displayed. Go to the Resources tab and then click on Installers. The OSDAC installer file for Windows and corresponding installation instructions are available here. Download the compressed installation folder. Once you are done with the downloading, navigate to the Downloads folder and find the recently downloaded RAR file. Unzip all the folders and subfolders. Open the extracted Windows Installer folder. Since all the dependencies need to be installed through Miniconda, it is mandatory to install Miniconda prior to the actual OSDAC installation. Miniconda is a cross-platform package and environment manager that installs, runs and updates Python related packages and their dependencies. Now we will install Miniconda. For this, right click on Miniconda 2 latest windows x86.exe and select run as administrator. The Miniconda installation will begin. Click next. Accept the license agreement and click on I agree. Select the checkbox to install for all users and select next. By default the installation directory is set to C program data. It is important that you change this installation directory to C program files x86. To do that, click on browse. And select program files x86 and create a new folder. Miniconda 2. Click OK. Click Next. If you get this error message saying that the installation directory has two spaces, click OK. Select the checkbox next to Add Anaconda to the System Path Environment variable and finally click install. The installation will roughly take about a minute to finish. Once the installation is complete, click next. Uncheck the box next to learn more about Anaconda Cloud and click finish. This completes the Miniconda installation. Now, Let's proceed further 
for the OSDAC installation. It is recommended that before you start this installation, close other applications so as to carry out a smooth installation of OSDAG. Now, in the same folder, right click on OSDAG setup x64.exe file and select run as administrator. An installation window will pop up. Click next to proceed further. If you accept the terms of the agreement, click I agree to continue. Let's click on I agree. Select a destination folder. We will select a directory for this installation from the F drive of our system. You may choose any other location for installation. However, it is recommended to avoid locations such as program files, program files x86 and program data from the C drive. Select next. Now we will select a destination folder to set as the default location for OSDAC workspace. The OSDAC workspace is a directory where all the design files will be saved corresponding to design report, 2D drawings and CAD model etc. Click on the browse button to set the destination folder. Select the desired folder and click OK. Click Next. Now choose the desired Start Menu folder. Click the checkbox next to Do not create shortcuts. If you do not wish to create any shortcut in the Start menu, then click Install. The OSDAC installation will begin. This will take a couple of minutes to install OSDAC completely. Once you are done with the installation, a window will pop up notifying you about the completion of the OSDAC setup. Click Finish. An information window will pop up displaying an information that OSDAC has been successfully installed in your machine. OSDAC can be launched from its desktop icon or from the start menu or from the installation directory. Let us launch OSDAG by double clicking the desktop icon. Navigate to the desktop and look for the OSDAG icon. Double click the OSDAG icon and wait for the OSDAG main window to open. When you double click the icon for the first time, it takes a couple of minutes for OSDAG to appear. Similarly, to launch OSDAG from the Start menu, open the Start menu and type OSDAG. Here you will find the desktop app of OSDAG. Click on it and the OSDAG main window will appear. Now let us launch OSDAG from its installation directory. For this, Navigate to the installation directory and look for the OSDAG shortcut. Double click on it to run OSDAG. These are the steps to install OSDAG for basic users, that is, who do not have Miniconda or Anaconda package manager installed in their machines. Users who already have Miniconda or Anaconda installed in the system or those users who have already installed a version of Python on their system and wish to keep that as the system default will be referred to as advanced users. Now we will demonstrate the OSDAC installation process for such advanced users. Navigate to the downloads directory of your system. Double click on the OSDAC Windows Installer folder. Now double click 
on the file wkhtmltox as specified here. Click on I agree. Let the installation folder be as specified and select install. Wait for the installer to finish and click close. Now if you already have Miniconda or Anaconda installed, navigate to the OSDAC Windows installer folder and open the dependencies folder. Locate the install OSDAC dependencies file, right click and run as administrator. This will in install the Python dependencies. Let us wait for all the dependencies to be installed. After the installation, the window will close. If you do not have Miniconda installed and if you are okay with installing it but you do not want to register Anaconda as the default Python 2.7, first install Miniconda as mentioned previously and then follow the upcoming steps. Double click on the file OSDAC setup x64.exe and then follow the instructions as mentioned previously. This will complete the installation. To open OSDAG, open the command prompt and navigate to the installation directory. and type and select enter. You may also choose to create a batch file that contains the above command and create a shortcut to run OSDAG later. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Let us summarize the video. In this tutorial, we have learnt how to download and install OSDAG in the Windows operating system for a basic user, that is those users who do not have Miniconda installed in their system and also for advanced users, that is those users who have Miniconda installed in their system. Thank you.